This is the multiple regression video on missing values in imputation. In a multi-predictor regression model, missing values for any of the predictors, or for the outcome for that matter, will cause the patient to be dropped from the analysis. This has two implications, neither of them are good. First, your sample size will be reduced. Second, your results will become less generalizable, at least to the extent that the patients with missing values differ from those with complete data. In that spirit, the first step in the analysis is simply to count the number of patients that are deleted from the analysis due to missing values and to determine which variables are causing the problem. For example, if the problem is caused by a single predictor, its presence in the model might be reconsidered. When counting large numbers of missing values, you have three analytical options. The first is to drop some of the variables in the model. The second is to combine the covariates into indices that accommodate missing values. An example of such an index takes the value of 1 if any measure of psychological distress is positive and 0 otherwise. If a few of the measures of psychological distress are missing, the index can nevertheless be calculated. The final and most controversial option is imputation. Of course, what makes imputation controversial is that you're making up data. In deciding whether or not to impute, it's helpful to keep in mind that your main goal is to assess the relationship between the primary predictor and the outcome. Following this line of thinking, all statisticians agree that you should never impute an outcome, and the vast majority agree you shouldn't impute a primary predictor either. We're more lenient about imputing covariates, especially if the covariates are strongly correlated, since in that case you really do have a good idea of what the values in the missing covariates are likely to be. It goes without saying that if you're considering imputation, you should contact the statistician. Without going into details, one of the questions that the statistician will try to work through is how much noise to include. For example, suppose that for a particular patient, systolic blood pressure is present and diastolic blood pressure is missing. You could create a regression model that uses systolic blood pressure uh, plus a number of the other covariates to predict diastolic blood pressure. The predicted value from this regression is the best guess for diastolic pressure. The simplest imputation scheme would just use this number. A more sophisticated scheme would recognize that not everyone with a particular value of systolic pressure will have the same value of diastolic pressure. In other words, that there's some noise in the outcome of this regression model. The imputation scheme would include a random component to be reflected to reflect the impact of this noise.